Hey guys and welcome back to Psychonauts! This episode is going to be a little different, it's all going to be cut screens, uh, so no more gameplay for a while. Also, just so you well, know... What is gameplay, Bike? We're not going to be actually going into a level. And also going to be a bonus section at the end. Now, we'll explain that later. No, there's one thing, if you remember the bracelet we got earlier, before we did the milkman? We were going to show that in the last video, but we got mm -hmm. it. We had to cut it out, So we can, but we can show it anytime we want. So anyway, if you get Louis' bracelet and if you use Club bonus on it, you get to see a bonus cut screen. I'm not killing her. Into an battle. No, we'll see all the kids. Hmm? Make them zombies. TV zombies. In real life, that would kill them. Yes, it was. It kills you so much. The good news is that your insurance is going to cover the whole thing. So, okay. It's getting warm in here. No. Okay. No, I'm not going to sing that song. I will. No. If you play that song in the background right now, I will kill you guys. We're going to have to. It sounds like he's gonna murder her. I kind of like how she's like, oh, I got a house now. It's a. She doesn't have a nose. You're a stubborn little ball of flame, ain't ya? Well, that head cold won't protect you forever, little girl. And when it's gone, you'll be sneezing a different tune. A tune in the key of. <laughs> I love that line right there. Alright, now can I say in something? In the key of brains! Alright, now I have a couple things to say. First off, if you play that song in the background right there, I will kill you. I'm not gonna do that to cut the Alright. So, or if you play it right now, then I'll kill you also. <laughs> Second off, shouldn't we be seeing the entire cut screen through her eyes, considering we're using clairvoyance on her? Uh, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. That, but, um, also I realized another thing. She kind of reminds me of, um, Mandy from Grim Adventures of Billion Mandy. How, like, she's come, like, she's kind of, like, evil ish. Well, I'm not, like, evil, but she's, like, she's really mean. I wouldn't be surprised if she took over the world, and she has no nose. <laughs> okay. Seriously, she's you, a lot like Mandy. You, you cover that after cooking out here. Me and first new member. Well, first new person. Oh, you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Well, I'll see you draw those are pots, right? Let's let's avoid her. <laughs> Go into the same. Yeah. So she must be one of the insane people. Episode. In this asylum, asylum. yeah. Yeah, but we don't need to deal with her probably. Do you want to talk yeah. about asylums? It reminds me reminds of a new Batman game. Oh, Batman Arkham Asylum? Yeah. Yeah. Also, oh, I seen a video on it. And then one guy, it was a video of a, it was a person dressed up as Batman, he's running around E3. And he's, play, and he's playing, he's playing, he's playing the game. No, wait, oh, wait I don't talk listen about to it. him. Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The button is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Uh, shut up, you fool. Now, anyway, and the thing though, who is finally he's bald? He was it? Why is everyone bald? They must be all insane Vin Diesel's. And that was funny, but okay. But yeah, apparently we found some more insane people and a guy guarding a door. Yeah, the elevator. The guy complained about the um retreating and stuff. That's Fred. And the person up that food the art therapy. Well, okay. And the other one who, who the art therapy one, that's um Edward. There's something weird about Edwards and Raz. When when Raz go talks up to him, he acts like he already met him, which is weird. Ah, maybe he did. I don't know. But Freddy doesn't really act that way that much. He refers Edward by his name. Even though. Know. Even though they don't know their names yet, or they shouldn't anyway. Yeah. That reminds me of um, the Pokemon 2000 movie where, like, uh, that one chick, like, she automatically knew Misty's name, even though they never met before and nobody had ever mentioned her name. <laughs> I've realized something. Wa going back and watching some of the Pokemon movies, they're not as good as I remember them as a kid. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't really expect them to be that great, but they're... 
I don't know, it's kind of disappointing. Okay, let's see. Okay, I guess this elevator goes to the bottom, so let's go straight up there. Greetings, Dr. Potter. Up to the secret laboratory then, Yep. One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal so if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Roboto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly pack away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. So I don't know why, but this guy's like my favorite character in the game. That guy is awesome. That's, I love his voice, I don't know why. So we need a metal claw, some type of jacket, and um, some out copy his face against the elevator. Hey look, Fred seems to have a jacket. Excuse me, sir. See? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he's the I like your jacket. Very yeah. strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and all of What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly. I think the battle is over. Help me. So he's sitting in a straight jacket and we need his um, straight jacket. I guess we got to go into his mind and cure his, I don't know, his insanity of him thinking that he's Napoleon Bonaparte. So we can get his um, uh, his um, straight jacket. But how do we get the, um, how do we get the face and the claw? Let's keep going. Well, let's see Edward then. The guy, the guy who draws paintings. Yeah. You don't draw paintings. You paint paintings. Yeah, okay. Oh. Well, he's doing cards right now. See, watch. See, ooh, look, the bottle painting. What are you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my ward. He looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who changed you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... Okay, what if you sucked at painting, though? Well, it's different. It's for him because of his problem. I know, but still. Yeah. This problem. <laughs> wow. See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. <laughs> Why a bullfight? Huh? Because he's obsessed but with bullfights. Why do you... See, he's like, yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. But yeah, I guess we need to cure his insanity so we can actually paint, um, um, uh, what's his name, um, the, um, uh, the, the uh, L Dr. Lobato's face, and we can use that painting for his face. But what about the claw? I, 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 didn't, I don't know about you, but I didn't really see any claw. Oh, yeah. Go back. Maybe, maybe you missed we, it. Back yeah, at maybe. Gloria. That's her name. Oh. The one, the one staring at the pots. All right. Technically, that's kind of spoiling stuff, considering how would we know her name? Oh, well, who cares? I don't, it's not that big of a deal to tell about their names, in my opinion. Yeah, but that kind of tells you that the person's probably important, because otherwise you wouldn't really know the person's name. Yeah, but anyway, let's, let's Whatever. see. It's, Excuse oh, me. What's that? Oh, is that a trophy or something? Girl? Oh. You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. <laughs> Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? <laughs> I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Oh, there's a good thing. Oh, look, there's a meal here. Oh, you found my old trophy. That could be a claw. Yeah, looks like a, looks like a claw. They probably hurt themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. <laughs> Would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? No. Wait. Or are you trying to take it? Because you don't think I deserve it! No, no we're trying to take it. it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. 
I just wanted you to love me. Oh, sorry, dead. sorry. What? You're supposed to be dead. Go. Ah! <laughs> this guy. So I guess we need to go into her mind and cure her obsession with the Chong theater. Shins. So then we can get her, um... Thing. Maybe we just go in her mind and kill her so we can steal her trophy. But I know why. So we have Gloria's mind we can go into, Fred's, or um, Edward's, right? Yeah. yeah so, so you can pick. Well, Edward is. It's Edward, thank you, not Edward. Edward. Why am I saying Edward? Edgar. So you can decide. So um, in the we have to go through uh, in all three of the we minds anyway. So. so we have to hurry up because we're running out of time. So but in the, in the com comments, uh, like vote for whoever, whichever mind you want to go in first. Now please rate, comment, subscribe. Bye. See ya.